Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make my little crayfish, or crawfish if you want to say. Um, I used some all orange bands and two black pony beads. Now if you want to change the color up, go right ahead. I'm going to do the body parts on using one loom and show you how to attach everything. Your loom is going to be like this in its original position with your arrows facing down. I'm going to get started and I'm going to start with the tail. So I'm going to use double bands and we're just going to go from the top left to the top middle and then from the middle to the right. Now we're going to go down the loom on the right side using double bands and we're going to go down four times. So it's one, two, three, and four, and now on the left side, double bands, one, two, I can twist it, push down, and three, and four. Now go down in the middle three times, double bands, one, Two. Oops, I'm just adding another one because I lost one. Sorry, everybody. Two, and one more. Three, push down. Taking double bands, we're going to go from the left and stretch it up to the middle, and on the other side. From the right, and just stretch it up to the middle, pushing down. Okay, now you need two single bands and we're going to cap each side three times. So one, two, and three, and on the other side. One, two, and three. Let's put uh, two holding bands. We're going to use one at a time and go in a triangle and from here to here. Now we're ready to loop up. So reaching in, grabbing these top bands, which are like these ones here, reaching in and bring them to the middle, holding your cap band down. And let's just go on the right side and do that, holding your cap bands down so they don't fall off. And now loop up the left side, reaching in. Don't grab the holding bands. Reach in and go all the way up and the top one here. Now on the right side, reach in, reach in, and go up. I'm just going to push these down. Now looping up the middle, reach in. Now taking two double bands, we're going to reach in here and we're going to slide them through, but don't make a slip knot. So reach in, just pull up, and now the tail is done, so just remove gently. And we're going to store this at the bottom of the loom. And there's the tail. I'm just going to store it here, if you'd prefer to store it on an extra holding hook. Go ahead. And I'm just putting it there for now. So now let's do the claw. I'm going to show you how to do two. So one for now. From the top. My orange bands keep breaking. There. And now we're going to go down four times on the right. Two, three, and four. Now on the left. One, two, three, and four. And now going down in the middle three times using double bands. One, two, 
I'm just going to fix. I'm going to push down. Three. And four. Oh, excuse me, three. I apologize, three bands. Three bands going down in the middle. Now going on your left, we're just going to stretch up to the middle. We're going to push down. And we're going to stretch from the middle to the right, pushing these bands down. Okay? Now, we're going to go down twice, two times on the right, using double bands, and two times on the left. So that's one, and two. Just going to fix and push down. Now, this peg here, so your one, two, three, four, and fifth peg down, we're going to use double bands, and we're going to go from here to here. So we just skip this little peg here, and now taking double bands, we're going to go from the left and just stretch it to that peg right there. Taking a single cap band, we're going to wrap three times. One, two, and three. And now I'm going to show you how to loop, and we're just going to loop to here. So reach in, grabbing those bands there, the top two, and go to there. Reaching in, and one more. And now bring these bands to here. Give that little push down. And now just remove these bands off that middle peg and bring it there. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So reaching in, we're going to go from here to here. And now give it a stretch from that middle to the end and push down. A single cap band, wrap three times. One two, and three. Now taking a single band, we're just going to add some holding bands, so a triangle at the top, another one, and now we're just going to put one here and go around that peg from there to there. I'm just going to push these bands down, and now we're going to loop. So get going in on your right, you're going to grab the top two bands, and bring it to the middle. Okay, reaching in at the bottom, grabbing the two bands, and go to here, stop, and go to the middle, and bring it to the right. I'm gonna push down a bit. Okay, now going on in your left, we're gonna grab the bands, the top bands, which are these ones, and we're gonna stretch it to the right, at uh, the middle. Okay, going in on the right, we're going to take the top two bands, I only grabbed one, and bring it to the middle. I'm just going to go in and grab the other one. Okay, now go in on your left, and we're just going to loop all the way up. Don't grab that holding band, reach in, and grab the bottom two bands, reach in, and go to the top. I'm going to push that top down. Go on your right, grabbing the bands. Now here are the bottom two bands. Don't grab that holding band. And now to the middle. Go in on the middle and loop up. Now it's ready to come off. We're going to slide double bands and we're going to go right in. We're not going to do a slip knot. And now it's ready to come off. And just give a little tug. And now I'm going to store this on my bottom of my loom like that. And let's make another one. So again, double bands. On the other side, let's go down four times on the right, one, 
two, three, and four. Now on the left, one, two, just gonna fix, push down. Ah, oh, my bands keep breaking. Three, and four. Now go down in the middle three times. One, two, just push down. Three, and four, push down those bands. And now go to your left. Excuse me, it's only three, I said that, I'm sorry. I apologize. So going down in the middle three times. Now go on the left and take double bands and stretch to the middle. And on the other side, on your right, and stretch to the middle. I'm just going to push down. Now taking double bands, we're going to go down on the right two times and on the left two times. My last one. I'm just going to add the other band. I'm just going to push down. Now taking double bands, we're going to go from this peg right here. So one, two, three, four, and five. Your fifth peg down and just go to the middle down. So we skipped this peg here. Taking double bands, go from the bottom of your left and stretch it to that peg there. Now taking a single cap band, we're going to wrap it three times. One, two, and three. Reaching in, we're going to start to loop this section to here. So reach in grabbing your top two bands, which are going to the middle, and just give it a little stretch there. Reaching in at the bottom, we're going to loop those bands right here, and loop up one more time. Reaching in the middle, we're going to grab those bands and put them here. You might want to just give it a little push down. Now take these bands off this middle peg and just place it right there. Because we need to do the other side of the claw. So go from your middle to your fifth peg down on your right, taking double bands. We're going to go from that peg and just stretch it down to the end of the right. Taking a single cap band, we're going to wrap it around three times. One, two, and three. And now we're going to loop up this section. So reaching in, grabbing your top two bands, which are going to the middle. Reach in, loop straight up one more time. Now reach in, grabbing these two bands in the middle and bring them to the right and give it a little push down. So now I'm gonna show you to put the holding bands. So we're gonna need three single, and I'm gonna use one band and make a triangle, one band, make a triangle, and one band, we're just going to go around that peg there and just push down. Now we're going to loop up, so reaching in on your left, you're getting your top two bands, which are going to the middle. The same thing on the right, grabbing the top two bands and bring it to the middle. Now we're gonna reach in on the left and go up. Don't grab that holding band. Reach to the bottom two. Reach to the bottom two. And now go to the middle. On your right side, Loop up, reach in, and now the middle. Taking two bands, we're going to slide them, not making a slip knot. We're just going to slide them through, put the other two ends there, so you have four ends and just remove off the loom. Oh, 
Okay, so we have another cloth. And I'm just going to put this at the end of my loom. Like that. So now let's do the body. We're going to take double orange bands and we're going to go down in the middle at the top there and we're going to go down twice. So there. Now taking double bands from your third peg down on your right to your third middle, uh, excuse me, third peg down on the left to your third peg in the middle. Now from the middle down to the right. Now we're going to go down six times using double bands. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and on the left side. Oops, I lost one, so I'm just gonna put my double band there. And two, I just need some more orange bands. Three, four, five, just gonna fix, and six. Now let's close off our body. So from the left down to the middle, and our middle to our right. Push down. Now let's just fill in the middle. So from here, I'm just gonna push down. And this is going down seven times, all the way to the, where we closed off. So it's two, three, four, five, and six, and one more and seven. Now let's do the eyes. I'm going to use the pony beads and a single orange and just sliding them on. And we're going to put them at the top. So your third peg down on the left to the third peg down on the right and get a little push down. Now taking your hook, just bring it to the top here and just make sure that they're down, the bands. Okay, now I'm going to show you to put the tail on. So removing your tail and we're going to put the tail at the bottom. So just make sure your bands are down and just slide it on. Okay, and now we're going to put the claws on. So I'm just going to take my claws off, put it on my hook. And now we're going to go down from the sixth peg down. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're going to take two of the bands and we're just going to slide them there. And the other two bands we're going to put on the seventh peg down like that. Okay, taking your other claw, I'm just going to turn my loom around and we're going to put it on the opposite side. So two bands on one side and two bands on the other side. I'm just going to push the bands down. Okay, now we're going to fill in the top part with holding bands, so using a single I'm just going to go on a triangle, triangle, again, again, and one more time. Okay, so now we're done with the body. We're going to start to loop up. So reaching in at the bottom, grabbing your first two bands, which are going to the top. Your next two bands, if you did it like me, it's going to the right. push down and the other two bands going to the left. Now I'm going to loop up 
the left side, so reach into the bottom two bands, go over in here. You're going to grab the bottom two bands, not the bands with your claw on. Reach in, up, in, up, and over, all the way to the top. Here, don't grab the band, the band with the eye on it. Give it a push down. Going in on the right, reach in, reach in for the bottom two, not the bands with the claw on, reach in, reach in, and go to the top, give it a little push down. Now just loop up the middle. In, up, and over. And now reach in. Taking those two bands, bring them up. And now taking a single band, we're going to do a slip knot here. So grabbing it. And give it a little pull. Now it's ready to come off. Okay, there's really not too much fixing needed. So he should stand up just like that, lean up forward. You can just twist the clothes around if you need. And what I did was cut that holding band right here. I just made a little cut. I don't have a pair of scissors in front of me, so just cut it. Maybe I don't really want to break it. So just a pair of scissors if you like. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this design. Please subscribe at the bottom, and I'll see you next time with another. Bye for now.